This video is about the if node in Unreal Engine materials. I'm gonna explain what it is, what it's used for, and how we can use it. So let's do it. Right click in the material graph and search for if. It's here under math. It has 5 inputs and 1 output. Here in the details tab, we can set the constant b and the equals threshold value. We can use this section to add a description to the node. All the nodes have it. We can also right click on the node and add the description here. So what does it do? It compares the A and the B inputs and then passes out one of these other three inputs. It's better if the A and the B inputs are single float values. We can use constant 2, 3, 4 or even textures but they just won't give us any useful data. So let's add a constant value and connect it to the A input. We can set the B value in the details tab or here on the node, but I'll duplicate this constant and use this instead. When I connect it, the input value on the node disappears and the constant B value in the details tab becomes grayed out. Add a constant 3 and duplicate it two times. Set them to red, green and blue. Then connect them to these inputs like this. So now what I'm saying is check the A and the B inputs. If A is greater than B, output red. If A is equal to B, output green. And if B is greater than A, output blue. Right now both A and B are zero. So the output must be green. Let's connect it to the base color input to see if that's the case. And yes, it's green. Now if I change the A input to any value higher than 0, the output will be red. And if I change it to any value less than 0, the output will be blue. That's essentially what happens when we use this node. For these inputs, I can use any type of data I want. Single channel constant, vector 2, vector 3, textures, or even material attributes. So let's do the same thing with textures. Next, I'll go over some things to consider when using this node. But before getting to that, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Also join our community on Telegram, Discord and Facebook. And check out my Patreon if you're interested in supporting the channel. These three must always have input or we'll get an error. These two which are grayed out, we can connect other nodes to or just leave alone. The B input we can set here on the node or in the details tab. And A equals B as the tooltip says by default uses the same value as the value we feed into A is greater than B. We can only use equals threshold when the A equals B is plugged in. Right now the threshold is very low and precise. But if I set it to a higher value, like 0.1, then the difference between A and B should be more than 0.1 to be considered as not equal. For example, if B is 1, then A can be any value between 0.91 and 1.09 and it will be considered equal to B. The default value is ok most of the time. We can also use other data types for the A and the B inputs. Let's use the red and the blue colors just to demonstrate what happens. This is the result we're getting. So what happens is that the if node compares each channel separately and then outputs the result. In the R channel, A is greater than B, so it will use the R channel of this texture. In the G channel, A is equal to B, so it will use the G channel of this texture. And in the B channel, A is smaller than B, so it will use the B channel of this texture. Let's add the append many node to compare them. We can use this node to add different channels together. So for the R channel, I'll drag out of here. For the G channel, I'll drag out of here. And for the B channel, I'll drag out of here. Let's connect it to the base color. And yeah, they're the same. But as I said before, it's not really useful. I just wanted to show you how it works. The A and the B inputs should always be single channel values. 
if for any reason you want to use other data types for these inputs, the A and the B inputs must have the same number of channels. If they don't, we'll get an arithmetic error. The same is true about these inputs down here. The only exception is when one of them is a single channel constant. We can even use material attributes as these inputs. There's just one thing to consider when using them. We should either enable use material attributes and connect the if node straight to the main node, or use a break material attributes node after the if node. Let's use it to create these materials. Create a new material, name it, and open it. Add the if node, then add the noise texture from the starter content. I'll multiply its red channel by 2 and connect it to the A input. Because it is a black and white texture, I could also use the RGB output. It wouldn't matter, but I'm gonna stick with a single channel value. Set the B input to 1. Let's create a red and a blue color and connect them to these inputs. Now when I connect it to the base color, this is what we'll get. The noise texture is black and white, so it has values between 0 and 1. After I multiply it by 2, the values are between 0 and 2. Watch the basic math video to better understand this concept. Now the parts that have a value of 1 or higher output red and the parts that have a value less than 1 output blue. For the second example, I've created this material. I can decrease the B value and everything will slowly be covered by snow. You can download this scene on my Patreon. The link is in the description. Let's go over how the material is set up. I've created three different materials using Quixel content. Snow, Moss, and Rock. Then I've used name reroutes to output both the material attribute, which I've used to collect the base color and the roughness texture, and the normal of each of them. After that, I've used the B channel of the pixel normal node to transition between the base color and the roughness of each material, and the B channel of the vertex normal to transition between the normal maps. Also, I've set the equals threshold to 0.3. That's how I get the mass between the snow and the rock. And that's it. Click here for more Unreal stuff and thank you so much for watching. Like this video, subscribe and join our community on Telegram, Discord and Facebook. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. So, see you in the next one.